Next up is Michigan head coach John Beeline. Beeline enters his sixth year with the Wolverines, welcoming back ten letter winners and three starters from last year's team that won a share of the Big Ten Conference Championship. Coach, we'll start with opening questions, or excuse me, an opening okay. statement, and then opening questions after that. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Uh, always exciting time when you've seen your team for for almost two weeks now, and uh, then have the opportunity to uh, try to put the puzzle together. Uh, it's been my probably a big word I've used several times today. Uh, we love our we love the young men we have. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, with just three returning starters, we still we really have challenges uh, because so few of our uh, of our players really have a, a lot of game experience. There's only three of them with significant game experience, so there's challenges there. Um, but there's great opportunity because of the uh, the young talent we have and the uh, the, the returning players who ha haven't played a lot but have worked very hard at their game. Thank you, Coach. We'll open up the floor for questions. <laughs> Front right. You uh, mentioned a couple weeks ago you were going to need some time to try to figure out your starting lineup. Do you have a better idea of what that's going to be, where those fresh bring us? Yeah, we're narrowing it down a little bit, and it, it, uh, we're basically trying to figure out what's the, what's the best way to use each guy rather than who are the five that are together. Um, you, you try to move people. I, I've loved having multi-positional uh, players, uh, but we also don't want to put them in uh, opportunities where they're really comfortable while we grow their ability to, to play different positions. So uh, if you saw our practice yesterday, we had like four different combinations out there. Uh, and I don't think you know any one of them was blew our coaching staff away of, of working well as well together as they all have to, to to be successful. So we're just continuing to experiment with it, and I think it will happen. Probably, uh, hopefully, we'll have something really in place by the start of the Big Ten champ uh, Big Ten season. Front left. John, it seems like you've got your program in place the way you want it to be after, you know, a, a building process. Just talk about how long that takes, what's reasonable for a fan base, and, and, and what the obstacles are. I think the biggest obstacle is the other teams aren't going away. I mean, you really, that's the, that in a school, in a, a place like the Big Ten, if you look back when I came in here five years ago, there were four or five programs, maybe five or six programs that were really, really had it going. And uh, basically, they still all have it going. And so to get to the sixth, the seventh, the, the eighth spot, which we were able to get to, is one step. Now, making that next step is really hard. So I think anybody building a program has to understand it is, it is, difficult uh, because they people weren't stepping back and saying, hey, let's let Michigan have their turn. It's hard to get there. But if you establish the culture and uh, you get the right breaks here and there, anything can happen. Front left. Coach, can you describe the way you're going to be looking uh, to Tim Hardaway this season? He's an upperclassman. He has a lot of yeah. experience there. Could you just talk about what his role is going to be on this team? You know, I, th I think that always our our is de defensively, he's he's been one where he has been. In our young players, it's, it's very difficult to expect a lot from them uh, defensively. There's so much they have to learn. Uh, that now he's at a point where he's really prided himself in how he has grown defensively. Then offensively, I think that our, our, our when he plays the three or he plays the two, uh, how much he has the ball off the dribble, off the pass, he's, I think he's growing comfortable no matter what he's doing and learning to know what his strengths, learning his, uh, about his strengths. So love coaching him every day. Intensity is incredible with Tim Hardaway, incredible. Uh, and we just continue to try to channel that in the right direction. Front right. Coach, after seeing what the freshmen can do in kind of AAU and high school games, what, what can the first few weeks of practice tell you about what they can do at the college level? 
What it, what it really can tell me is they really are receptive to uh, to continue to be coached. They really uh, want to learn uh, whatever we can teach them and what their teammates can teach them. And just when you go out to a practice and there's enough going on with, with young players that there's so much that they're still learning all the time. But when they're good students, when they're receptive to it, when they pick up things quickly, that's really refreshing. And uh, we've been fortunate to have a, a lot of freshmen over the last four or five years that had that type of attitude. And this team, th these five really seem to be all together in unison uh, to be able to, to grow sort of as a group uh, whether they're, they're whether they're playing or not in, on the same team, really grow as a group in how much they can they can uh, take in and then you know put into action. Stay front right. Yeah, Coach. Uh, I know Trey Burke thought quite a bit about leaving Michigan and trying to go to the NBA or whatever. Just uh, what did it mean from your standpoint, the program, the team this year, to get him back? And where do you want to see him go from year one to year two in his progression? You know, we were uh, uh, we had the similar uh, it, not issue the, the, the similar opportunity for Darius Morris the year before, and we were very fortunate that Trey Burke was able to step in and, and fill in so admirably as a as a freshman. Uh, while that that really worked well, that's when you when you don't have a freshman coming in at point guard at that time we did not it is it is really difficult to continue to rebuild through that position so having him back really has has been helpful because he is a good player he is a winner he's proved he's a winner and you know having talent is one thing teaching winning is an, is another thing and he's been through a year where he was very so helpful in that in that Big Ten championship in games both at home and on the road. Time for one last question. <coughs> All right, seeing none. Thank you, Coach. Good luck this year. All right, thank you.